my career in respiratory therapy really took off because I wanted to be at bedside uh, and I wanted to be above the waist uh, where I take care of patients. I looked at different fields such as nursing and, and PT and OT and PA, uh, but respiratory was really specific on, on the systems that we take care of and having an impact on patients' lives. There is a shortage of respiratory therapists currently. Staffing is short, six, seven RTs on a shift. So we really need a lot of therapists uh, at bedside. For respiratory therapists, you know, most entry level uh, start off working bedside, uh, you know, and they get their clinical uh, rot rotations in through school and they actually apply it at bedside when they first get started, honing in their skills that they learned in school and getting to know patient assessment and handling mechanical ventilation. Uh, once they get to a certain level of knowledge, you have other options such as becoming part of an ECMO team. Some RT decided to go into education route uh, where schools need professors to train these new, uh, new students that are coming on. Uh, myself, uh, I chose the management route. Uh, I worked my way up uh, through the ranks here at my jo current job, uh, working from RT1 to 3 uh, and now a manager. Uh, and hoping to be a director next, that's my next step. Another avenue is research. Uh, you know, a lot of the big hospitals, academic centers perform research at bedside uh, and RTs are a vital part of that. Uh, we perform our own research here. The opportunities are definitely boundless, uh, you know, and, and you know, you may start off in a small hospital, but you can always expand to a bigger role. And even within a small hospital, you have a chance to become even the CEO. Uh, you know, I, I think the Northwestern uh, Hospital here CEO was a respiratory therapist.